Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to easily defeat Red Goblin. And I have a few options here, um, and then some options which I haven't got in the video, but I'm just going to talk about anyway. So first of all in this gameplay, I'm going with Colossus, because Colossus not only is just a great champion for dealing, dealing damage, but with this Flux Dispersal node, which means that if you don't heavy attack every so often, um, and you get to 20 stacks of, of these Flux Dispersal charges, then you're going to be dealing no damage. And luckily for Colossus, the main way for him to do his damage, and most of his damage output comes from his heavy attacks because he activates that fury. Um, you're also work working with this Volter mechanic, where you've just got to basically keep quite aggressive, and that can be quite helpful for actually, um, you know, dodging some of his special attacks, as you can see there. I can just, the first part of that SP1, you can just get hit by and it won't hit you, and then the second bit, you might have to dodge. So yeah, Colossus, doing great here, you could bring a full synergy team for him like Emma Forrest and Omega Red and I'm just using him on his own here and he's still amazing as you can see, you know, crits so hard, 10k crits were going there and it's a pretty simple matchup, you know, I think, I'm pretty sure you could come out of this matchup with over 50% health um, so yeah, that's the, that's the first option I went for, pretty easy win so next up, I went with Captain America Infinity War, because once again, as you'll see, there's a, a theme with uh, these champions, which are great for this Red Goblin fight, because of the Flux Dispersal, are heavy attack champions, and same like Colossus, um, Captain America Infinity War activates a passive fury when he does a heavy attack, so he's going to be heavying all the damn time. Um, and also he's just a great champion for dealing damage. I don't have a 5 star version of him so I had to use my 4 star but as you'll be able to see it's just as easy you know he's also got a really good block chance and, and glancing mechanic so if you do get hit or your hit block gets hit it's not going to deal too much damage so he really is really good at negating damage. Um, so yeah as for other champions also that would be good for this fight think of just more and more uh, heavy attack champions, so Hyperion obviously, uh, even Dr. Voodoo, not because he's a heavy attack champion, because he's just a uh, mystic, and they've got like, this um, Red Goblin's got quite a bit buffed, so Morningstar or uh, Voodoo just because they're mystics, but otherwise um, people like Hyperion, Captain America Infinity War, Colossus, all very good heavy attack damage dealing champions, Hulkbuster even I think, Although he is a cosmic champion, so he kept the the downhand against him. But you know, that's all you need, really. It's not it's not too difficult. I'd say this fight's definitely a lot easier than the cosmic ghost rider fight um, because that guy deals a lot more damage uh, very quickly, and this guy's just a pain to deal with when you're below a certain threshold when he goes into his sort of rage stance, and um, it's a bit harder to fight. However, I think his special attacks are much easier to evade as well. And as long as you're keeping to that SP1, uh, you should be fine. So we're just coming to the end of this fight here. Bam, bam, bam. Easy one, easy win, easy life. 43 hits. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.